What is up, guys? This is WWE 2K Mods with a Z, you know, because I thought that sounded trendy, and I thought um, it would make my, my channel stand out. It probably doesn't, but oh well. This is WWE 2K Mods um, with, I guess, my first speaking uh, video under my new channel. Um, it's the old channel with a different name. I haven't uploaded on YouTube in such a long time that I just decided this would be the channel where I showcase um, different mods for the uh, WWE 2K19 video game. Unfortunately, 2K20 cannot be modded. Um, that entire game was a freaking mess, so everyone is just modding 2K19 because it's just it's fun. Um, Time-consuming, but fun, and it's just a really really awesome thing to do because you can you can do so many crazy things with mods especially in wrestling games and it's just it's really fun to do um if my mic doesn't sound good i apologize i'm literally using um the mic attached to my headset this isn't anything professionally done so bear with me um if you guys follow my Instagram, is uh, Pro Wrestling Everything. I've been posting my mods on there. Um, I'll link my Instagram in the description of this uh, video. And a lot of you guys have been messaging me, pretty much saying, "Yo, how do I, uh, how do I download these mods?" Um, a lot of people have been watching uh, YouTube videos, and that's how I actually learned how to do it. Um, just from uh, my point of view, a lot of the videos haven't necessarily been the most helpful in in some ways, just because um, a lot of them were text on their videos with m music in the background. I haven't found any speaking uh, videos kind of like this going step by step of what to do. Um, I also wanted to note that I did delete all of my mods from the game. They're very easy to get back, so it's not a complaint there. Um, if you guys try doing this yourself and you want to uh, delete your mods and start from scratch while watching this video, all you have to do is very easy. Uh, go look up your game, so WWE uh, 2K19, and right-click, go to Properties, and then click on Local Files, Verify Integrity of Game Files, and then click OK. I already did that, so I don't need to do that. Um, also, when you download the mods, uh, you will have this folder called mods. Um, I'm going to delete that and then sh basically show you guys how to bring it back. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and delete the mods folder. So everything is clean. No mods at all with this. Um, when I boot up the game, there will be a customized uh, 2K19 modded Shinsuke Nakamura picture that shows up. But other than that, all the mods are gone. So what you guys want to do is obviously buy... Buy. I said buy. B U Y. You want to buy WW2K19 off of Steam. I do not work, know if this works with any pirated versions of the game. I don't know if it works with Codex version of the game. I have no idea. Some people say it does. Some people say it doesn't. I do not condone piracy at all. So if you guys ask me how to do this on a pirated version of the game, all I can say for you is just watch the video, try it, and if it doesn't work, don't ask me how to how to do it because number one, I don't know how to do it, and number two, I will not help you mod a pirated version of any game just because again, support support the developers, support the publishers, guys. Buy the freaking game. It's it's not that bad. Um, so with that with that being said, um, this these two are the main programs you will want. Sound Editor 2019. And this one is the main. is is pretty simple. You just open up the program. Um, click yes if it's on uh your uh, it, uh asking for administrative purposes. Then what you want to do is mine's already set up, but yours will ask you for the game directory. So pretty much what this is is. You need to click where your downloaded game is. So obviously mine is under Steam Apps, um, program, uh, uh, my D drive, program 86, uh, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and 2K19. That might be a little uh, difficult for you guys. So all you want to do, I'm pretty sure, um, to find out where your game is. I do not know if this is the right place. Uh, da, 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 da. Browse local files. There you go. 
click go to local files browse and then you'll find out where exactly your file is and you want to click on the one that says x64 application um, for them to find your game so this is what you're going to see pretty much everybody that is in the game or could be modded into um, the game itself I know this looks very terrifying and very scary, but I promise it's not. Um, and then to send up to set up sound editor, pretty much do the same thing. Uh, have it locate your game um, under settings, and you actually might not you might not even need to do that for this one. Um, I don't use this program a lot unless I need to integrate a custom theme. A lot of uh, files have custom themes already. So what you want to do here, this is kind of difficult, so if you guys need to pretty much rewind this and keep checking back in, I totally get it. So you want to go to File and Open, right? You want to go to, obviously, where your Steam game is located, so Steam Library, Steam Apps Common, 2K19, and I believe it's under Sound. And then you're only, for this, to, to do a custom theme, you're only going to be looking for Music Zero down to music show and that's pretty much at the bottom of the list so if i do that in this video i may make an entire different tutorial of how to use this program um pretty much rundown if you want to replace someone's theme you um just pretty much find who you want so music zero say i want to i replaced Lita's theme with kenny omega's theme and you know it's pretty straightforward it's not that difficult it's just kind of time consuming because if you want to replace someone's theme you just have to go through these lists and then try and find them so you can be kind of a pain in the ass but it, it's not it's not too bad so now for the fun stuff we're going to download a mod um but before you do that i almost forgot one thing this guys this is very crucial in order for your mods to work, open up custom character tools. Now, I was trying to to go through this with some of you guys on Instagram by text by by DMing you guys. It's hard to explain through DM, so I messaged a lot of you and I said I will send you a personal link to my tutorial once it's uploaded. So what you want to do is if you saw in the beginning of the video, I deleted my mods folder. Reason why is because this is how you get the mods folder. You click on install mods, click on install the perfect plextra, yes, it's there. Super string, yes, titantron fix, yes, universal alternate attire, yes. Now you guys um, will have the mods folder. As you can see, the mods folder is back here. So now what you guys want to do, and this is also very important because I forgot to do this uh, at one point and my mods were not working. I was freaking out and then I, I realized I forgot to do this. So what you guys want to do now is click on chunk tools, right? Click on clear chunk zero dot arc. Hit yes. Now you only have to do this once. A lot of people were saying you have to do this after you download every single mod. I... um realize that that is not true um i only had to do it once and excuse me all of my mods have been perfectly fine so now you click on in i'm um, sorry go to chunk tools click on regenerate chunk zero dot def make sure that is on full and not real time click on start now this could take a few seconds um again you only have to do this once so i'm pretty much just going to uh speed up this process for you guys All right, now it has been successfully regenerated. Again, you only have to do this once. So unless um, you ever get rid of your mods and then reinstall your mods completely again, then you will never have to touch this ever, ever again. So I'm going to show you how to download two mods. One of them is going to be very easy. One of them is going to be more complex. So go over to this website right here called w, uh, 2kmods.com. Now what you want to do... Let's click on sign in through Steam. Click on sign in. And pretty much here you go. So there's one thing you have to do before all any of these mods work. 
you want to make sure your Steam account is set to public. So basically what that means is that if you ever use this website and if you ever comment on anybody's mods, people can see your username and add you. It's the only way it'll work. I forget off the top of my head how to make your Steam account public. I know it's in the settings somewhere. If you don't know how to do that, just look it up, how to make your Steam account public, and you'll find it. Um, that's the only thing I can't teach you because, again, I forget how to do it. So um, what you want to do now is I'm going to show you how to get the SmackDown 2020 um, ring, uh, um, uh, arena, and as you can see from this Dolph Ziggler picture, it does work um, with the Titan Trons on pretty much every part of this. And there are some mods that show you how to do it and how to install it. Um, it tells you to back up your mods in case um, you do want to uninstall this mod in the, the future. It always recommends backing them up. I, I never do that, but it, it gives you the option or it, it tells you to do it. So click on download file, um, click, just click download. It says um, it could, it says there could potentially be a virus, but I assure you there is not. This is just saying Google that can't uh, scan this drive for a virus. But as I said, there is no viruses um, with this program whatsoever. I know for a fact that these guys who own this website are very good about there not being any viruses, so you will be good to go. So now what you want to do is go over to downloads. I have a bunch of crap here because I downloaded a bunch of mods. I'm just going to delete some of these these uh, files right here real quick. Um, I'm going to keep data editor and pack editor because at some point I'm going to show you guys a tutorial on how to use uh, those. Um, you don't need to use these that much. Um, I more so use Pack Editor for only two mods, and that was the Bray Wyatt mod, uh, just to get his customized nameplate. That's it. And I've never used Data Editor once. So um, it's pretty much there in case I ever need to use it. Um, so what you want to do is extract your SmackDown ring. Click on Extract 2, just so it goes in a folder. And here you go. Click on it. It tells you where to put it. Right here, right click on pack folder and then go to your 2K19 directory and simply paste the folder into it. Easy. So you right click, click on copy. Go over to your 2K19 folder right here, click paste, click replace. And now easy as that, you have the Smackdown Arena in your game. Now how do you use it? Pretty much, this SmackDown, uh, the, the SmackDown on Fox Arena replaces the SmackDown Live Arena in the game. So if you click on SmackDown Live in the game, you will have the SmackDown on Fox Arena. And there are a lot of other, other arenas you can download on here that will replace other arenas. Um, so I think that they're usually, there it is, Arena. So you have Crown Jewel, Royal Rumble, uh, SmackDown on Fox. Here's a, uh, some ported arenas from uh, 2K16. That's pretty cool. Um, you, you know, you got this pay-per-view right here, uh, November to remember from um, 98. Um, you got some, some raw arenas right here. Uh, pretty straightforward. It's pretty cool. Um, I don't really mess with the arenas that much. Um, you got the Tokyo Dome, so that's very that's very cool. I actually might download that one. NXT UK, another really cool um, arena. Um, there's not a lot here. There's only 18, but I'm sure there are other websites that you can find that um, will have uh, these these arenas. So now what you want to do is to download a wrestler. Um, you can go to character, and there's over 600 uh, characters. So there's Angel Garza, Randy Orton, um, Sami Zayn, Tanera Khani, uh, Jordan Devlin, um, Superman. Um, now, I will let you guys know. The Flash, Master Chief, Winter Soldier, Superman, um, Link from Legend of Zelda, Terminator, Black Adam, uh, Iron Man, Brainiac. All of these fantasy characters that you can download, I do not know how to do that. That's where... Um, this program comes into play. That's where 
Uh, the data editor comes in because with those characters, you have to create your own POFO file. And I, I personally don't know how to do that. Um, so just these guys in general, like the, the, the real people, it's easy because you can find their POFOs and it's, it's, it's just very simple. <laughs> um, but with a lot of, of other guys, um, it, it's, it's, it can be kind of difficult for the fantasy guys. So I'm just going to go to what's hot. And these are the popular mods right here. So the ones I've tested out were Edge, Tessa, Morrison, Seamus, and the Fiend. And also the Firefly Funhouse Fiend. I have tried Kenny Omega. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to simply download. Let's do John Morrison because his, his, um, his videos were, or, or his, his, um, uh, downloads were kind of kind of tricky. So let's download him. So click on download file for John Morrison. Just says please wait right here. Obviously wait. <laughs> uh, click on skip add. And now this is a mega download. So just click on download and wait for it to download. All right, it is now downloaded. You now have the John Morrison file. So you want to do all of this step by step. Don't go. Um, don't go into a rushing. I had an um, issue with my uh, with my headset for a second. So if 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 it just stopped, I apologize. Um, like I said, don't go into this just you know, uh, trying it just to try it. Like, like you have to know what you're doing, right? So I can just delete the SmackDown folders because I do not need it. So now what you want to do is extract John Morrison to the folder. Click on it. And now um, you only have two, two um, files right here. And this is to put Morrison in the game, but there is more stuff to do that you will need to pretty much look up yourself. Um, so open up custom character tools, look for the first three letters, so CH511. So you want to look under slot ID for 511. Right here, he already has his own thing, John Morrison slash Johnny Nitro. Right click it, click on import, um, yeah, CH uh, pack files. So number two and number four, it goes two, four. As how it is here is how it goes here. Number two is is what he wears in the ring, and number four is pretty much what he would. Is pretty much what he would wear for his entrance. My headphones are going complete nuts right now, so if it cuts out and keeps cutting in, I apologize. So, like I said, two goes for the ring, four goes for the entrance. So, pretty much. You know how John Morrison wears his sunglasses and his giant coat um, to the ring? That would be the uh, four file right here. If there's only one, if it only says two, that means he doesn't wear anything other than his regular attire to the ring. And you would put the number two folder in both ring and entrance. Because if you only put it in ring, then you will get pretty much a default character as your entrance. And that'll look stupid and you don't want it. So click on right here, uh, find out where your downloaded character is, number two, number four, click on import, click on yes. Now he's in the game, but that's not the only thing you want to do, because now you need to find his entrance files and his puffo and a move set. So you could all go right here and just type in John Morrison, maybe. Maybe it's on this website. Maybe it is not. There's some graphics right there. Um, so that could work. Um, but what I usually do is just go on here. WW2K19. John Morrison mod. Search it up. Now just look at all these videos. And you guys, normally these YouTube videos um, will link a... Uh, 
moveset, and here it is, uh, Pafo moveset theme graphics, all right here, pretty dope. So, um, let's get the graphics first, okay? <laughs> we can't get the graphics from here because the YouTube channel has been terminated. If anything, I can just use uh, these graphics right here, not a big deal. But um, let's see if any of these other channels have the graphics linked. Uh, da -da -da and John Morrison graphics. Let's see. That's the SmackDown Arena. So someone was using the SmackDown Arena. Um, maybe it's here. I think this has all of it. It has the Puffa moveset and um, the graphics. But what I want to do is I'll probably download the Puffa moveset and theme and then the graphics off of right here. So. What you want to do, and it does fit the SmackDown on Fox Arena, as you can see right there. So just download the graphics. I will link all of John Morrison's files in the description in case you guys want him to be your first mod. Um, click download as zip. Now, what I'm about to do here is very crucial, very important that you follow along with this because the first time I modded, I messed it up and it wasn't working um, so just watch exactly what I'm doing if you guys need any help let me know and I will try and help as best as I can as I said I muted my computer speakers um, the sound so you guys can hear my voice um, but I do know that it will work at the end of this tutorial I will upload the full John Morrison entrance at the end of this video so you guys can listen and see that he works perfectly fine. Um, so here you go. Let's just minimize this real quick. Now you have his graphics, right? Graphics are right here. You want to extract it to the folder. Right there, you got the graphics. Also has the um, instructions here. So what you want to do, you guys can read this if you want. So copy the two folders, pack and movies, in your main directory. So that's why a lot of these um, don't really show much uh, into um, a lot of, of, of other YouTubers didn't really show this um, in their video or specifically what to do, especially here. It doesn't really tell you where you can find those files at. So what you want to do is get the folder pack first. Get the pack folder. Go to your directory, pack, you got your pack folder, click on paste, click on replace. Now a lot of people put movies in the pack folder because a lot of people just didn't know, which is fine, I did the same thing. Click on your movies folder, copy that, and then paste that right here. Click on replace. I do not know why this says use data editor, blah, blah, blah. I've never had to use data editor before while doing graphics. Um, so I think you guys will be fine with that. Now what you guys want to do, go here. Go to the Puffo moveset theme. Download this. These ones you have to download one by one just because... Um, Pretty much just just because. Um, download, download, download. You downloaded all of them, right? Now what you want to do is you have your theme, everything right here, the WEM file, the mod, or the, the moveset and the PAFO. This is where you guys need to pay attention. Um, this is where you can open up your game. So in order to inject the Puffo and moveset, you have to have the game open or else it will not work. Um, so just go ahead and open your game. Now, I will let you guys know WWE 2K19 might take a little bit to um, open once you mod the game just because you added all of these mod modifications to your game and it just takes a little bit to load up. So, like I said, all you guys got to do is just um, be patient, 
there have been times where this took about 15 minutes to load. Um, so just, I'm going to speed this up for you guys. Um, just, and I will tell you roughly how much or how long it took uh, once it's loaded. All right, so the game is finally loading. It took probably six minutes, which isn't as bad as it has taken before. So what you guys want to do is just load it into the game. Now, this is also very mandatory. This is something you guys have to do. Um, like I said, you won't listen to the sound now because I want you guys to hear my voice. So um, you load into the game. Now, this is something you have to do um, when you download every single mod. Um, just don't forget to do this or else it will not work. After you download every mod, do this. Just go to Edit Superstars, edit any, any wrestler, just edit them to something, and then you can change them back. So I always just edit Adam Cole every single time. Just go to Crowd Reaction, boo, save it. And then that pretty much saves the game so the mods work. I don't know. It's all confusing. I don't understand how that works, but it does. So now you want to go to Custom Character Tools, right? Make sure you're still listed under the um, number that your Pafo character or that your character is. Right-click it. Go to Import Moveset. Now you want to click on the John Morrison mod and then go down to Pafo and then import his Pafo file. Then you want to save it again. Um, now you can change him to Cheer Boo, and you can always change him back to Boo if you want Adam Cole to be a heel, it doesn't matter. I'll just show you guys that he is indeed in the game. Um, let's just go to J. Right there, he doesn't have a picture. Um, there are ways to get pictures in the game. Um, I just, I don't really care. It doesn't bother me. I don't go out of my way to do it. But um, you can if you want. There's other tutorials about how to do that. So now what you want to do is you want to inject the theme song. Now, there are, are ways you can do this easier than I'm about to show you. I just recommend doing it this way just because, again, it's easier. So what you want to do is go to creations and go to entrance, right? <clears throat> go to entrance, click on superstar, and whatever his his entrance song is in the game is what you want to replace um, with his theme song. So you want to go to John Morrison. A lot of times um, you should not uh, edit their their um, their motion because it could interfere with you, you it's it's not good to edit anything here when downloading a wrestler because it could interfere with their trons being shown and all that um fun stuff so as you can see there's john morrison's graphics they 100 percent worked did not need to go into data editor and or anything like that there he is so you want to go down to entrance music and see that he is using fabulous 2. so what i do is i take a picture of that with my phone camera, so I remember that is fabulous too. Because see right here how it says Titan Tron movie The Rock or something like that. If you edit anything here, it'll actually show The Rock's Titan Tron. That's why, at least for me, it does. That's why you always just want to keep it the way it is. Um, now you want to go to victory settings just to make sure that his victory theme song is the same as um, his theme song in his entrance. So go to victory, click on superstar. Um, go to John Morrison, and whoever uh, made him gave them his his own entrance and everything. So that's his motion is Kevin Nash. Uh, victory music is entrance music. Good. There are some times where like his victory music will be something completely different than his entrance music. So you just you just want to watch and just be careful about that. So now what you want to do is close out the game um, just to get his theme song. So this is where sound editor comes into place. So if you forget what it was, I 100%, I think it was fabulous too, and that it was. So go to file, go to open. So fabulous too, um, obviously no wrestler uses fabulous too. So you can kind of narrow it down and be like, okay, fabulous too sounds like a miscellaneous um, song. Just click misc. 
Um, I already have it as his theme song because um, I had him in the game before, but if you want him in the theme song, it'll obviously be nothing here under replace sound. So you want to right click, go to import, find the WEM file. It has to be WEM, cannot be MP3, anything like that. Um, I know how to make them WEM. I will not do it in this video because uh, I don't want it to be insanely long, but um, if you guys... Um, want me to make a tutorial about how to make theme songs WEM, I 100% will. Just let me know. If not, there are other people online who probably have tutorials on how to do that. So click on the WEM file. Ain't no make-believe. There it is, Fabulous 2. I'm going to try and turn up my... I don't know if I can do this while I'm recording. I can't. Um, I was going to try and turn up my sound on my computer. But if you want to test it to make sure it works, click on play. And then it'll just show that it's working, and then there you go. Um, so now, open back up the game. It shouldn't always take a very long time to open. Um, as you can see, it opened pretty much right just like that. So you want to get back into your game. And like I said, at the end of this video, I will show... Um, the entire John Morrison entrance um, with the SmackDown Arena, and I will attach that to the end of this video so you guys can see everything we did worked. Um, so you want to obviously do the same thing. And you should be good to go. Um, it already injected, so you might not have to do this for... Um, editing sounds, I just do it anyway to be on the safe side, and then save it, and you now have SmackDown um, and John Morrison uh, in in your game, so I'm going to stop this video real quick and then restart it with sound on my computer, and I will show you guys 100% that this does work. I'm going to keep it in windowed mode, um, just because I don't want to edit it too much when it's in my widescreen, but um, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys real quick that um, this does work, so here we go. As we ready for singles action, Byron, what can you tell us about these two competitors? Well, I can say that both of these superstars come into this match incredibly hungry to prove their dominance here tonight. But as we all know, only one will walk away with their arm raised in victory.